Hello, and welcome to ArcSight Logger Reports. ArcSight Logger Reports let you perform advanced geospatial analytics on your security data. This simplifies the way you investigate security data based on location. With it, you can quickly derive meaningful insights and react promptly if you find any anomalies. In this demo, we'll discuss how to perform enhanced geographical data mapping to IPs which will help us perform interactive geospatial analytics with the help of advanced visualizations. Now I'm opening the ArcSight Logger portal. To start data mapping, you need to create a query object with the GIS lookup step in it. I'm opening a query object that I've designed for this demonstration with the GIS lookup step. So here it is. My data is coming in from the logger search query connection. I'm using the security events generated by a Cisco ASA device for the past 30 days. With this data, I'll plot a map. The map will give me information on network traffic from source location to destination location for this device type. With these insights, I can assess the traffic of various devices by location, determine the reasons for unusual traffic, and plan corrective measures. My data contains the fields source address and device address, which are the IPs of devices at source and destination locations, respectively. I've mapped these IPs to their respective GIS coordinates. Let's look at how I performed the mapping. I've added a step named GIS Lookup here. To map location data to IPs, I've specified a MaxMind connection. MaxMind is a connection type that provides location data for IPs. I've given a name to the source address field here. Here, I've specified the parameter to grab the desired values at runtime. To access the desired record pattern, I've specified the request path, which is a forward slash for MaxMind connection. In record pattern, I've specified the language of the respective locations I want to map. I've also selected coordinates and services I want to map to the IPs in order to plot an intuitive map. Likewise, I've performed the mapping for the device address field. In the results, you'll see new fields created with the information you're looking for. You can refer to some of our logger documents for help on how to update MaxMind databases periodically. In the format step, I've specified the geographical roles for the new fields created with the help of the GIS lookup step. For instance, as this field is grabbing values relevant to latitude coordinates, I've defined the geographical role as latitude. So that's how you map IPs to location data with GIS lookup in logger reports. Now let's design a report based on the previous use case. I'm opening a new report from under the Design tab. Here I'm selecting the query object with the required data. Here you can specify the parameters to pull your desired values. Let's take the ones that have been specified already. So here's a grid with the data we are looking for. To create a map, click the plus icon and select Add Map. In Map Settings, under Map, in View Type, lets us specify the route since we want to perform traffic analysis between the source and destination. Under Fields, in Source Field Type, provide the latitude and longitude details. Also, provide details for destination field type. Under Color, Let's take the field as base event count and define the function as count since we want to assess traffic. With base event count, I'll be able to see the count of events that occurred between two IPs and on this map, assess them based on the location of their IPs. Let's apply these settings. Here's the map we're looking for. When I hover over a route, I can view the information associated with that route. So that's how you map IPs to location and perform advanced geospatial analytics with ArcSight Logger Reports. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.